Hi, how are you doing? So in this little episode of Windows Group Policy, um, we're going to talk about printing. Um, we actually had some print capability in the product um, that actually came in Windows Server 2003 R2. And at that particular time, the only way you could use that print capability to put, push printers out um, was with a little executable you put on your, all your clients, all your Windows XP clients especially, called Push Printer Connections. That technology was integrated into Windows Server 2008 and Windows Vista, but a new thing that actually came forward in Server 2008 and moved forward in Win 7 and uh, 2008 R2 is Group Policy Preferences. Now, the, when I did a lot of TechNet tours um, back in Australia, and I was showing a lot of the Windows printing at that particular time before preferences came along, a lot of customers were saying to me, that's great, you can push printers out, but..." How do you set default printers? Is that possible to even set default printers? And at the time, that answer was no. Well, in preferences, we've now got a new story to tell around the way we manage printing and push printing out to users. So I'm going to hand over to Lilia to do a bit of a demo, um, and she can show you exactly what we can do with preferences and printing. So as Michael mentioned, you can set a default printer with preferences. You can add a printer and set it in default all in the same UI. So here I've created a policy called printer preference because I'm so clever. And under user configuration, here under the preferences node, you see all these expanded possibilities. But the one I'm looking for here is printers. I could make a new, and then you have the option of shared, TCP, IP, or local printer. I've already started to create uh, the one that I'm talking about here, so I'll just open it. I uh, set the action to update, which for those of you familiar with preferences means that um, whatever the policy is on the client side will be updated with this one. The other options here include create, replace, update, and delete. Uh, and then here I've created a shared printer and I've gone to this share path, which is um, an Epson. And you can, if you haven't filled it in manually, you can search through the entire directory. Here you can see I have an Epson and a Canon printer at my disposal. Now I just want to show you what the client looks like Right now, here on the client side, this is a different window, but um, this is a Win7 client, and we have that Canon that I just saw available, set as the default printer, but no Epson printer. So back here in the server view, under the preferences side, we have, we're adding that Epson printer and setting this printer as the default printer. I have an additional option here that says only if a local printer is not present. Okay, so pretty simple, not a big deal here. I've created this policy and linked it already. You can see that printer preference is linked to the domain. So I'm going to go over to the client and I'm just going to run a quick GP update. Everybody keep their fingers crossed as we wait for our policy to update. And I thought I saw a flicker. I did. All right. So now you can see that not only has the Epson printer been added, but it's now set as the default. And the Canon is still recognized as being a shared printer, which is pretty awesome. Now, obviously, it's preferences, and which means that you can set it as a user preference. I can remove this device. Am I sure? I totally am sure, right? And have it set back here. I'm the user. But if we go back and do another GP update, It'll just get set again. So that's an example of awesome preferences being able to set a new printer and set it as default.